Longton played their first home game of the year against Peter Brown Saturday. Scott Rawlings had a chance to put Longton in front, but his kick was off target. Peter Brown then missed a kick from a similar position. Just when it looked like the home side were about to score, a drop pass gave the Borough a chance to counter-attack, which their winger Julie took. He ran the length of the field before touching down for a try which was completely against the run of play. The conversion was successfully dispatched, leaving the home side 7-0 down. The home fans didn't have to wait long for a response when directly from the kickoff, the Longton pack came together and made it possible for flanker Kieran Healy to bulldoze over for a try. The conversion was pulled to the right and wide. Longton gave away a couple of penalties towards the end of the first half, which eventually Peterborough managed to convert, leaving the half-time score at 10-5. In the second half, Longton started brightly, and after Peterborough had a man syndrome, Scott Rawlings got over for a try. This put Longton into the lead for the first time in the game. As the half wore on, it became much darker and much slippier underfoot. But Longton were throwing away their advantage due to indiscipline. And with this kick, Peterborough took the lead again, 12-13. With time running out and a point down, Chris Buck stepped up to take this massive kick, which crawled over to give Longton a narrow lead. Peterborough did have a chance to fight back, but this kick went just under the bar, leaving the Longton fans thrilled. Chris Buck could have extended the lead, but again the kick was wayward. But it mattered not, Longton got the victory they deserved. I thought we played okay. Um, I thought it was a really hard game. Uh, we expected it to be a hard game with Peter Rither, a big physical side. And, um, you know, we, we certainly weren't disappointed. We thought we played quite well in some patches. We, we had some, some very nice link play with the, with the forwards and uh, they, couldn't, they couldn't really handle Scott Rawlings in the backs. Um, but they're a good side as well and, you know, they're there bits in the game. So, um, no, pleased with the win. We try and mix the game up where we can. I mean, the pack are, are strong going forward, but also Scott at 12 is, is a very good ball carrier. Uh, gets us over the gain line, and then we can we can run off him then. Nah, nah, I mean, I thought the ref wasn't too bad. We had a word with him at half-time. Um, just, it's just the interpretation in the, in the contact area that's always an issue from, when, from both sides. Um, we just thought their tackler wasn't necessarily always rolling away. Um, the, the, the second player, you know, if he, as long as he comes through the back, plays the ball is fine but he wasn't the issue it was the tackle player that we thought was the issue but um, you know sometimes it goes for you sometimes it doesn't there were, there were a lot of penalties uh, but I think a lot of that's to do with how physical the the confrontation between the two sets of forwards was really and uh, you know sometimes you get a few penalties as a, as a result. I think we lack the killing instinct at times um, again a lot of possession a lot of territory but we were just going to get that that ball over the try line and make make the territory count into points. Paul Jenkins staffs live.